my name is Andrea Narden. I am Chief Quant Officer for Black Alpha Capital, a quant fintech hedge fund headquartered in London. I got over uh, 20 years of experience in, uh, in quant research and applied trading um, and in creating uh, quantitative solutions for um, uh, institutional clients. I, I spent a lot of time doing research using AI, machine learning particularly, I use it on a daily basis. I'm a great fan of it. Um, but uh, of course, I, um, I'm also very well aware of the problems that you can have with this with these type of, of, of technologies. And I, and I look forward to discuss some of these aspects of the conference. I'm very much looking forward to join the conference and, and share some of the uh, work I've been currently doing. Um, at the conference, I'll be speaking about uh, machine learning, a specific type of machine learning, um, uh, supervised learning. In specific, I will show how decision trees can be used, not just to create uh, trading strategies, but also to create optimal portfolios. My uh, most recent research has suggested that actually um, we've, we've grown up in the quant space thinking that we always need to construct optimal portfolios, but an optimal portfolio uh, is only optimal within the theoretical framework you're using. And so um, it's not necessarily uh, by using optimizers that you can create efficient portfolios. And so I hope to, um, I hope to convince the audience uh, uh, sharing some, some good examples that that is the case. I, I think um, it's my second time at the conference. Um, so I had the opportunity to enjoy the, the first one a few months ago, and my takeaways are mainly uh, three. Um, first of all, I, I love the short format. Um, speakers are forced to speak in 20 minutes, and therefore you need to be concise, you need to go straight to the point. Sometimes listening for 45 minutes is, 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 a, bit, is a bit difficult. Um, two, I enjoy very much the fact that people are focusing on case studies, are sharing their experience um, rather than discussing theoretical frameworks that you can grasp from a book, from a paper or, or elsewhere. And thirdly, last but not least, um, I've, I've met a lot of people uh, virtually, of course, but a lot of people contacted me in, in LinkedIn um, after the conference and I managed to exchange thoughts and opinion around the research I, I presented. And so it was a great way of networking. 